Hello and welcome to the world of EDC. My name's Jeff and today we're going to be doing a quick review on a knife that has been reviewed to the upteenth level and that is the Benchmade 940. Very quickly I wanted to um, state that I know that everybody um, has their impressions of this knife and whatever else. I just want to talk specifically about my example of it and whether or not I think it's a good carry um, considering all the options today. Does this still have a place in the world of EDC? And short answer to that, if you just want to know my impressions of it, I think that it's a huge win. I think this knife's been out for, I think Benchmade has been selling them for 14, 15 years at this point. Um, and it's still, I mean, it's a Hall of Fame design. It's a Hall of Fame um knife in pretty much every circle i think most knife collectors at some point have either had one or still do have one um and there are some people out there that this is all they have carried or will ever carry this is just it they've hit they found it and it's enough and i don't blame them because it's ergonomically speaking it's just correct i mean the jimping on the back is perfectly executed to where it's I mean it, it, when you look at the machining let me see if I can't see show you it, it's smooth in the G10 but you can still let me get a good picture of that you can still see that there is jimping there and it gives you just enough traction with this finger uh, choil that it's just I mean I know it's all been said before, but this is my first example of it, and I absolutely love this knife. It's just to die for. With that being said, I do have a few problems with this particular example, and I don't know that it they are across the line or if it's just my example. Um, the one that I there there it's just one big big problem. The Minor two minor things for me is the deep carry pocket clip being non existent. I did order um, one from Benchmade, they charged me five bucks. I pay that all day. It's I'm happy to do it because this knife is brilliant, and the only design flaw that I see is this pocket clip. Not horrible, it's not absolutely horrible. You can see that. Um, let me see, do I have a piece of paper here? If that was where the clip ends that's about where it's going to be what's going to be sticking out of your pocket but for me personally i prefer a deep carry pocket clip and so i paid the five bucks and they're sending me one i just don't have it right now after getting that on it i think that it's going to be one of my all-time favorite carries and i that's saying a lot because there are knives that i've been carrying for years and i love them but this knife is just awesome um my biggest concern with this blade is the out of box sharpness for this example. I don't know that it's across the board. My other bench maids, um, my two bug outs and my griptilian mini griptilian all came out of the box fairly sharp, not unbelievably sharp, but fairly sharp. This knife came out borderline dull. And so I've had to, um, strop it which i'm not a great knife sharpener um and it does still do most of the tasks that i've put it against but um i do find myself going towards my utility blade when i need to like pop zip ties or anything because it's just not quite sharp enough i do have plans for getting myself um a sharpening system that eliminates me trying to freehand sharpen to where I should be able to sharpen my knives much better, but that's a me issue. The The knife issue is that it just didn't come out of box for the $200 price tag impressively sharp. I mean, just some of the examples that I have on the, on the desk here, um, yesterday's review, the Anthropos, came out of the box absolutely sharp, deadly sharp. Um, my... LCK out of the box completely sharp um, I've been, since beaten it up it's just ATR 13 MOV so it's probably due for a sharpen but out of the box it came sharper than the 940 and then my Boker Kalashnikov um, OS 8 came out of the box completely sharp 
all of these knives are sub $100 and they came out of the box. I wouldn't say infinitely sharper, but definitely a lot sharper than what this $200 knife came out of the box. And so, like I said, I don't know that it's across the board an issue, but on my example it is. So that is 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 something. I have to admit that that to me is kind of disappointing. But with that being said, across the board, I think that this is an amazing EDC. Um, I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you do not have one of these in your collection. It's at least give it a try. Um, I think that you will be as impressed as I am, and I think that it is a 100% a win all these years later. And uh, so with all that being said, I really do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't checked it out, checked out an, a 940, definitely give it at least get one in hand. Go to a store, you know, most sporting goods stores are going to have one. Check it out. Get one in hand. And I think you'll fall in love like I have. Um, so with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video if you did enjoy. Please leave your comments down below about any of the things that I discussed in this video. Um, I really do like interacting with you guys. That's the reason why I'm doing this because this is your glimpse into my world of EDC and I'd like to be able to peer into your guys' world of EDC and form a community around the channel. So with all that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.